So Mariah has a little podcast that she be doing with Buffy. You know, Mariah was on Married to Medicine. Buffy did one season. Okay, just one. And I feel like they've been tacking on to things or whatever. And then today, pop this off, on Funky's, where well, I want my screen right, on Funky's live, he had mentioned that, where's the video? People kept telling him that Mariah was saying that he was paid by somebody okay, by somebody T to add this in. Shit. Pay by somebody to purposefully go at her. Now, if you recall, um, Mariah been off the show for a while, okay, for a whole while. And I don't recall Funky going at her so hard, but I feel like back when Mariah was on the show, a lot of folks didn't like Mariah, okay? So Funky has said that he didn't see what she has said. So I said, I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it. So this is the quick little snippet of what um, Mariah said about Funky. And it feels like they went too hard on Al. It should have never been done. That's the first thing. So I, so that's what I feel like. You, If you feel like something went wrong, you have to ask yourself, why did they roast him? It's his birthday. Mm -hmm. Was he in agreement with the roast? That's the question we and should be asking. Was it. was it a surprise roast? Did Did everybody now, why everybody on live about it? So that's, is Buffy on live? I feel like Mariah's on live. I know they must be at Mariah's, um, her little um, video spot or whatever doing this. But I was like, why y'all talking about all this stuff? Then Did you hear what he before. said, though, Mariah? Funky said when he called Funky, and he was giving. No, out I didn't hear. What he so they were discussing Al, Armand, and them. With them, brought up Funky. So Al called Funky, Funky mm -hmm. Daniela, uh -huh. and was giving. Funky was on live. Al said, did you go watch the show? Did you see what they did to me? Oh, my God. And he said, I'm on live. He said, I don't care. No, he said, I don't give a hell. Yes, what a he hard was mad. Thing. So that's how so you So what was the worst thing y'all think that they said? Talking but, about his man. Dad like that. Like, that's the crazy part. What everybody else, like, he hurt his feelings and he went too far and it was Claudia and no, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I just think things was that bad. I was like, they said clock it, Mariah. They agree with Mariah. They like, they don't agree like, with me and you, Shannon. They, 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 they agree with Mariah. They agree with Mariah. They agree with Mariah. I'm like, why y'all all talking? Somebody stop talking so we can't one person. The tape. Go rewind the tape of the shit that Funky oh, Dineva had said. Hold on. She like, shut up. This my shit. Y'all talking too much. They can't hear me. Be quiet. Be quiet. Go rewind the tape. Go, go rewind the tape. They did much worse to me. <laughs> they did much worse to me on my own shit. Go rewind the tape. The, and Daniva ain't on. Wasn't on my show, but I think he was being paid. In oh, my Mariah Hook. My humble opinion. Did you clock the Go body? rewind and watch everything Funky Daniva ever said to me. I only been nice to that man. God, my right hand of God. I love him and Michelle from ATL. And go. Child, not putting Michelle. And Funky and it's, now y'all know Michelle Brown, aka Lynn, and Funky are not friends. Okay, you can love them both, but not together. Go rewind and say this. I love Michelle from ATL. You, you should know that nobody goes that hard unless they get a coinage or whatever. That's how I feel. I didn't think, or my, maybe I didn't watch the whole thing. I could see how it was a little personal, but I felt like, come on, now you just want to agree. So Mariah saying Funky was going hard at me, and nobody go hard at anybody unless they're being paid by someone to do so. Now, again, a lot of people love to say bloggers are being paid by this person, by that person. But again, as I said earlier, sometimes people just don't like you. And it has nothing to do with people being paid by somebody else. Truthfully, it don't pay to dog out somebody. It don't because eventually you come off. 
looking like a hater. Okay, so Funky I a- was on his live. So I was watching earlier, whatever, and I saw him respond. Okay, and I'm like, well, he was not it. Let's watch. Yeah, Mich- child, Michelle hates Funky. Michelle, look, Michelle hate Funky. I think I don't think Funky hate Michelle, but I I don't think he like her either. I think he I think he is like I don't ever have to speak on that bit. Leave me and her, you know, never ever again. Okay, but a few people feel that way about me because that's also who Maddie, still kids Madison, um, you know, has doesn't really care for anymore. Um, no, Funky lives in Miami. I know he was talking about possibly moving back to Atlanta, but he's been in Miami for a few years now. He he been moved out of Miami. Um, but because Funky said that folks kept saying to him, bringing up because Mariah was on her live with Buffy when that was said to her, saying verbatim, "If you watch the stuff back, Funky was really really mean towards me, said a whole bunch of mean things, and I think I think he was being paid." To do that but no one would be that mean to someone unless they're being paid and i'm like no sometimes folk just don't like you like i don't like miss wanda ain't nobody paying me to say that she crazy as hell i just don't like miss wanda but funky had a reply let's listen Mariah said you was paid to attack her um this probably has less to do with mariah and more to do with y'all it it kind of boils my blood sometimes when y'all do this whole funky dineva is on somebody payroll oh you on monique payroll oh you on the scott's payroll now you know according to mariah allegedly i was on somebody else's payroll and so i love when we get opportunities like this mariah huck from married to medicine guys y'all talking about mariah lynn mariah carey keep up suzanne mariah huck i I really be wanting to role play with y'all. I want to role play with y'all. Please walk me through how this happens. Um, First and foremost, y'all, let's just play a game. Of all the medicine wise, which one y'all think paid me to attack Mariah? Who y'all think would have paid to have anyone attack Mariah? Could it have been Quad? Because Quad, because Heavenly came on it had to come on season two or season three. I feel like Heavenly did not really even get her bearings about her until seasons three, maybe four. You know, but I feel like Funky kind of child never liked Heavenly from the beginning. So I do feel like if anybody was to have paid him, it would have been somebody who had been from season one. Okay. Maybe Jackie. Yes, the only reason I don't think heavy because heavy wasn't on from the beginning. Heavy had to had to 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 grow up to even get to to dislike uh Mariah, you know. So maybe Jackie, maybe Quad. Okay, but I'm like I would have said either yeah either Quad or Jackie. I mean, it would have to be Quad or Heavenly. Those would have to be the two that paid that paid me to attack her. Yeah, so I know he's friends with Heavenly, but I felt like him and Heavenly became more friendly once Quad, I mean, once um, um, Mariah was no longer on the show or no longer, you know, saying the, the big boss lady. So then, how this go? Uh, Quad called me Dad, Dad, Dad. What you doing? I'm going to give you $500 if you go in and let half on Mariah on the internet. Okay, Quad. I'm a feeble-minded do boy. Cash at me right now so I could go in on her. Like, it doesn't even make sense. And then, hold on one second. Now, let's play heavily. Fuck it, I need Fuck it, I need You know I don't like that whole Mariah and her black-ass mammy, Miss Lucy. I'm going to give you $1,000 if you go in on her. Now, first of all, heavily will go off on people. So I don't see Heavenly paying anybody to read anybody because she do it herself. Okay, Heavenly, how about this? Instead of giving me money, how about you give me a free cleaner and I go in on her for years? How does that work? And so, you know, it, it, it it's funny because over the years, I personally feel like, you know, I've shown a lot of grace and I've spared a lot of people when it comes to a lot of situations. 
and, and, and here's what I'll say. Um, you know, honestly, truthfully, Mariah, I honestly thought we were past all of this. And I honestly thought enough time had gone by that we probably had gotten to a space where we could, you know, do an interview on the internet or maybe run into each other at the Cheesecake Factory waiting on the table and finish off our cocktails together catching up. I that would have been so cool if Funky would have had Mariah on for a little kiki, little chit chat. Yeah, I remember the whole shebang about Mariah and Quad getting into a fight at the little restaurant. And when it happened, he did tell us about it. Like, I think either that night or the following day, he talked about Quad and Mariah getting fit into a physical altercation at the restaurant. So I feel like from there, it was a bit of like, girl. Bessie Boots. I honestly thought, you know, enough time had gone by that we had probably entered that space. Um, I see not. Um, I saw a small clip of you and uh, Buffy hanging out and running alive, and that ain't nothing but one big old trauma bond, okay? Child. A lot of folks do feel like Mariah and, and Buffy's bond is the hate. For Bravo, the ladies, because they're not on the show. You know, Buffy did one season, Mariah did a few seasons, but then pushed out. So a lot of folks do feel like, even though they said that, because I have not watched Mariah and Buffy together, so I'll have an opinion, but I do feel like the, the couple times I've seen clips of them on social media and I've seen comments from people, they do all say they're bonding because they both have this disdain for Bravo slash Mary Medicine. Um, and that's what they always, you know, discuss. Okay. They need to go ahead and give Buffy's ass another season of Married to Medicine because she is so doggone bitter when it comes to not being on that doggone show. And for, for, for the life of me, I'm not understanding somebody so rich and wealthy as Buffy. I would be too busy shopping and damn Gucci and Prada so would it to be worrying about some two-bit ass reality show. But then I knew when I saw Mariah and Buffy together. It Child, not a two-bit ass reality show. Child, like Funky and Al about <laughs> Binding over Claudia, child. It was just going to be a, a, a cornucopia of bitterness. A whole conference of nothing but bitterness and shade throwing. Here's what I'll say and I'll move on. But I will say this to that. One little thing. I do feel like we haven't seen Al and, and Funky on like a podcast talking cash shit about Claudia. I feel like whatever cash shit they talk about Claudia, child, they don't do it on camera. They be kicking in privately. So I, I, I think that may be the difference as to where Quad, or not Quad, Heavenly and Buffy publicly be talking cash shit about Bravo, the, the other ladies, how they don't like it, how they were done wrong. Like they make their conversations public, whereas Al and Funky, if they're having any conversations, they keep that shit private. Mariah, nobody ever paid me to attack you. Um, I experienced your energy firsthand. I experienced it firsthand. I remember conversations that we've had and it just left a very nasty taste in my mouth about who you were at that time. You know what I'm saying? Or aspects of who you were at that time. Um, I think that it's very ugly, despite the fact that you were the creator of the show. I, def I think that there was a lot of conflation of roles and expectations. Me personally, I did not like the fact that your spirit and your energy required everybody to bow down to you like you were the queen of the earth. Some folks said that back then, that have, not heavenly, that Mariah felt like because she created the show, was also on the show, that they had to kiss the ring of the God. A lot of folks felt like that is why the other ladies pushed her out, because they did not feel the need to kiss her ass. It's a very ugly trait for someone to have. Um, I remember the first time I ever side-eyed you is when you and Sharika came to Atlantic Station because you knew, I, I mean, not that because you knew I lived there. I lived there, and you, and you and Sharika called me down, and you invited me to Rosa Mexicana, and we were sitting there. It was season one of the show, and, and we were just talking, and you were asking questions, and you were saying, Funky Daniva, Funky Daniva, why, why are people saying Quad the star of the show? <clears throat> why are people saying Quad the star of the show? And I remember saying, I mean, I don't know. Like, you know, she's kind of 
breaking out to be the star. I don't know where everybody in Chattanooga say, everybody in Chattanooga say, she trying to take my show. She trying to take my show. Chattanooga? Why y'all care about Chattanooga? Now, I will say during season one, I do feel like season one, Quad and Mariah were standouts. I think, you know, the fight between Mariah and Toya was a big thing. Um, I feel like, to me, if I recall season one, the big thing was the fight between Quads and Toya. So I do think because of that dynamic, and even how some folks required because at that point in time, Dr. G was like, was he a, psych a psychiatrist? I do think she pushed herself to be like seen a lot. You know what I'm saying? So I, I do think that may be why people felt like she was a breakout star in the first season. I don't think she's the star of the show. And if she is the star of the show, then I'm the star maker. You said those things. And I remember sitting there finishing. Right, I'm sorry, girl. Thank you so much. Mariah and Toya fought. What I remember is Qua running in, stopping it. And I remember how they kind of treated Qua as if she was like a little sad yang, 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 yang. Girl, get on somewhere. Your husband ain't really a, 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 a doctor. I remember that part of it. And I know Qua had a lot of little comebacks, a lot of quips. Yeah. Carry fussing with Quad. So I do feel like Quad made herself a breakout star because of how she put herself into situations or how situations kind of revolved around her in one way or the other. Um, you know, so I can see, I, I remember Quad being um, a fan favorite season one. But I also feel like people like Quad and Mariah season one. I was surprised they did like Toya because of the fact that Toya fought Mariah. Finishing eating my chips and guacamole and my pomegranate margarita, like <clears throat> something ain't right with this lady. You know what I'm saying? And then as you know, we continue to run into each other in public, and as I began to make friends with all of the other ladies, it was a recurring theme with you that you were to be regarded as the queen, and that everybody was to kiss your ass, and that that was your show. I remember a conversation I had with Quad when <clears throat> they were vouching to bring Heavenly on the show. And you got mad and went off on Quad and was like, how dare you bring somebody on to go against me on my own S-H-I-T? You know what I'm saying? These were the, it, and these, this is why nobody over there messed with Mariah. See, when I, when I say stuff like it be a whole bunch of stuff going on behind the scenes on shows or whatever, and don't nobody be knowing until later. So the fact that we, that he's now saying that Mariah was upset of them trying to bring on Heavenly because she felt like she should be the one to bring folks on her show. You cannot have professional women with higher levels of education and wealth than you and then want them to bow down to you and kiss your butt like you're the queen. So that's all it was. I mean, to this day, it ain't nothing personal. I think outside of that, you're probably a real cool woman and we probably would have a great time over margaritas and kiki. But let's put this thing to rest and let's not reignite this because it's not going to end well for you. That's that on that. Um, so, Tarvashe Jones says, but it was Mariah's show. So let's explore that. Let's explore that. Sure. You assembled these people. You got them together. You sold the show. Um, but at the point in which we all have contracts and it's an ensemble, it's an ensemble show. It's Bravo show. And then let me ask you this, uh, Miss Jones. Let's just pretend for kicks and giggles that it is her show, then does that mean for the next 11 seasons, does that mean for the next 11 seasons that people are supposed to come on and like bow down to her? Hell no. To me, if it's an ensemble cast, whoever created the show, I don't have to kiss your ass. Because you should want it to be an authentic vibe for the show to keep going. If no one liked the fact that you want to be Queen B, then you want to ruin your own show. I would not want to kiss anyone's ass because they created a show. Either book me or no. Or that people are supposed to come on and not go at it with her. Or people supposed to come on. And y'all see how that worked out for Basketball Wives LA, right? The worst thing they could have ever did was made somebody a producer and a castmate at the same time. 
because it, it creates an unfair power dynamic. You see how they never held Shani accountable because they were she was Shani. So my question is, if it was her show, if it is her show, and me and you on the cast, are we supposed to come on there for the next 11 years and never check her? Because it's, you, you see what I'm saying? It just doesn't make sense and the expectations were unrealistic. And that was that on that. I feel like Mariah is still upset just simply because she's like, I did not get my just due. I did not get what I felt like I wanted. And to me, I felt like fucking Daniva was round here bad mouthing me and being more mean to me and being just reading me more than he usually would because he was paid by someone. Now, she did not say who. She did not say she thought it was Jackie. It was heavy. It was quad. She just said that nobody is, is really that mean or, or wrote someone that much unless they're paid by someone. And I'm going to tell you, bloggers, child, no. We say what we say and that's it, Okay. Anyway, y'all, that's it. That's all. I want. I just want to add the little part on the, at the end. I'm gonna put it on in the morning. It's gonna be a replay for the morning. Okay. I hope y'all enjoyed. I